Reality beyond consciousness. Reality is beyond all characteristics, even of being, consciousness, emptiness, or any other designation. To awaken to your identity as being, consciousness, oneness, presence, emptiness, or what have you, is still moving in the realm of phenomena as an imagined entity. Your essential nature is prior to the sense of consciousness and being. There is something in you that knows the sense of being conscious and present. That is your real nature. It is forever unknowable as an object. It is beyond being and non-being, consciousness and unconsciousness. There is a temptation to take reality to be the sense of being, presence, consciousness, aliveness, or even something more objective, such as stillness or a peaceful state. But all those things are objective. You know them. What you are is evidently beyond them all. At some point, there may arise a resonance with the pointer that there is something prior to consciousness, prior to being, prior to peace, prior to oneness, prior to emptiness. Why? Because all of those, however subtle, are conditioned states. They are experiences that can be grasped, understood, or recognized. Even the sense of I am is an appearance. It has appeared upon your true nature. It is the prim primary uh, concept or experience, which is the basis of all other experiences. Without the sense of I am, there can be no other experiences. To you are beyond all experience. Even the experience of I am at the core of the mind is an empty space, a void through which the primordial, non-conceptual reality shines forth as consciousness. The whole world appears in the light of consciousness, and consciousness itself is a time-bound, phenomenal state, an appearance on that unconditioned source which is prior to consciousness. Reality is non-conceptual awareness that does not even know that it is. Simply put, you are the one who is aware of being and of being conscious. That you is entirely beyond the body, senses, mind, consciousness, and anything else that can be perceived or conceived. It cannot be grasped or even be understood because it is what you are. Prior to consciousness. When you awake in the morning, consciousness dawns. In this state of being conscious, you perceive a body, mind, and world. These are appearances only, not what you are in essence. To identify oneself with any of these appearances gives rise to the notion of being a separate person, self, or individual entity. This is the cause of all seeking, suffering, and doubts. Consciousness is a state that comes and goes. In sleep, unconsciousness, or under anesthesia, the experience of being conscious subsides, so it is clearly a transitory state. However, before you awoke and became conscious of anything else, including the fact of being conscious, you existed. Consciousness happened to you who were there to experience it. Your fundamental position is prior to consciousness, from this non-conceptual source, which is what you are, arises initially the sense of conscious presence. This is also the sense of being, the experience that I am, or the bare fact of knowing that you are. This is the first appearance upon your original state. Little can be said about your essential nature because it is clearly beyond all concepts and even prior to consciousness. Some pointers that have been used are non-conceptual awareness, awareness unaware of itself, pure being, beyond being and non-being, the absolute, the unmanifest, noumenon, cognizing emptiness, nothingness, to name a few. This non-conceptual essence is pure non-duality or unicity in which the notions of both subject and object are merged. Just as the sun does not know light because it is light, so you do not know your original nature as an object because you are that. It is forever beyond the grasp of con concepts and subject-object knowledge. Yet it is entirely evident 
and inescapable as that which allows you to say with utter certitude, I am, and I know that I am, even when those words subside, you are. Even when the consciousness that knows those words subsides, you are. Consciousness is the light of creation, but you are the primordial non-conceptual awareness, being, or no thingness in which consciousness and all subsequent appearances come and go.